Hi, I'm Ross, the creator of Polkadot Staking Dashboard. And in this video, we'll be going through the process to create a nomination pool. So to do this, I'm going to switch to Polkadot's test network West End. Um, you would do this on Polkadot or maybe Kusama. Um, but for testing purposes, let's use West End. So the first thing to do is to connect my accounts. I'm going to connect to the Talisman and Polkadot JS extensions, and then all of my imported accounts are presented. To create the pool, I'm going to use ROS5. Let's select that account. So to create a pool, we simply need to go to the Pools tab and then click Create. By the way, I'm minimizing my side menu, um, but the Pools tab is the third one down. So let's go and Create. And to create a pool, we just follow the, these instructions and then it will be active. So the pool name can consist of emojis, any symbols you like. I'm going to be very creative and call this Ross Pool 5 and continue. So we need to choose which validators the pool will nominate initially. And this will be update. This can be updated once the pool is, is active. We have a range of options. I'm going to select the optimal selection. So this one chooses a, a range of validators. Most of them will be active currently with some inactive. But we have some other options. We can choose um, active validators with low commission. We can choose from favorites and we can manually input validators as well. So from favorites, we could jump to the, uh, the validator tab. I can favorite some of those validators and they'll be present in my favorites tab to manage in the future. So jumping back to our setup, um, I'm going to select optimal selection. And from here, we can regenerate if we're not happy with them. Um, we can select some and, and remove them if we don't want them. We can add from our favorites. So I'm just going to do this now. And we can also select random validators, ones who are validating parachains, or random validators, etc. So once I'm happy with this, I'm going to continue. The next thing to do is to configure the pool roles. Now, for this presentation, I'm happy with ROS5 um, consuming all these four roles, but we can edit edit them. Um, we can edit the roots, nominator, and state toggler. Let's just quickly go through these. The roots is the owner of the pool. It has permission to do everything the nominator and state toggler does. The nominator simply nominates, um, is able to nominate validators on behalf of the pool. And the state toggler can change the state of the pool, whether it's in a blocked or locked state to prevent members joining. Um, or the destroying state, which initiates the process to wind down the pool and to eventually close it. The depositor cannot be edited. The depositor is the creator, which would be ROS5. So continue. The last thing to do is bond. The minimum to create a pool on West End is one Westie. Um, I'm going to click the max button. On Polkadot, this value is 200 dots. Um, so you need at least that amount to create a pool, but joining a pool is just one dot. Um, I'm not going to bond all of my funds, I'm just going to take some off, so I have some for transaction fees left over for future transactions. So if I click continue now, we are presented with a summary. I'm happy with this, so I'm just going to go and create the pool. It takes a couple of seconds to update. And here we are. So I have my pool open now. I can manage the pool if I'd like to. I can stop my nominations or, or amend them. I can bond extra to the pool or unbond, provided I'm not below that one Westie threshold. I can edit the roles from here and look at pool stats. So some other um, options, I can, I can view pool members. I can browse all the pools if I want to, and I can favorite pools as well which will come from the All Pools tab, like so. And lastly, if I'm actually, um, if I have roles in other pools, I can switch between them here from this menu. So that's been it for this video. Thanks for watching.